Hello, this is a photography tutorial for beginners, lesson number one. Before I, I kick off, I'd like to tell you guys that I am starting a YouTube channel where I'm going to be posting 21 videos in 21 days. So every day a video from now on. I need your support, so I keep posting. So hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell. Watch as many of my videos to help me spread my channel. <laughs> And then let's start with the first lesson. In this photography tutorial for beginners, I'm gonna start with a very basic lesson that I have just learned. It's how to hold your camera. You know, sometimes cameras can be heavy and holding it the right way helps avoid any blur or any shaking in taking any photo. Of course, if it's a night time, you definitely need a tripod because the tripod uh, helps you or the camera to stay stable all the way during the photography. But when we have good light outside, we don't need that stabilization, so we rely on our hands, especially if we're traveling or we want to. Uh, sorry, if, especially if we want to travel light. So, how to hold the camera the right way to reduce the movement and shaking of the camera? First of all. First it comes first, put the strap on your camera, don't let it loose and tangle it around your hand in case you drop the camera, it stays safe, it doesn't fall off and then you hold the camera with your right hand if you are a right hander or if you are lefty then use your left hand but the right hand because it has a grip so I'm holding my camera this way and my finger is ready on the trigger button this is the, f the second step after wrapping this strap. And the second step is to support it with our left hand. So I'll support the lens weight because sometimes lenses can be heavy and big. So I support the camera and lens weight with my left hand, putting it under the camera. So now I'm in this position. My camera is steadier than this position because sometimes when even when I trigger the shutter button, the camera shakes a little bit. But holding it with the left hand helps making it steadier. After that, if you lean the camera a little bit towards your body, it becomes even more steadier than before because you support it with your chest and you reduce the movement. In case you were taking shots during night time and you didn't have any tripod with you, then try to support your back with a wall. Lean on any wall and let the camera be on your chest and then you will reduce the maximum amount of shaking and finally hold your breath <laughs> if you're taking a steady shot and the shutter speed was slow any single movement in the camera will result in having a shaky photo and unclear one blurry one actually that's why especially if we have low lights and we don't have a tripod so holding your breath while supporting the camera like this, in this position, will give you the maximum stabilization for the camera. And that's it, here we go, this is the tip for the day. Give it a shot and try it, even using your mobile phone sometimes, if you have some shaky photos. And it will help take you some nice pictures. That's a nice one actually. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my video. Hit the like button, subscribe and activate the notification bell. And please, comment in the comment section below on new ideas that you want me to talk about so I can cover the 21 days. Until I see you tomorrow, bye bye.